Okay, let's do example six. Uh, in case you didn't get to hear that in the background, that was Miss Crab trying to sing. Not Succeeding. that good, but well, I think it's even. maybe someday she will improve. Here's to hoping for that. Um, anyway, for example six, uh, we need to write the, or if you write this polynomial as a product of factors that are irreducible over the rationals. That means that once you factor it the first time, um, all of your factors have to be rational numbers. So that means you can't have any square roots, you can't have um, any imaginary values. So if we look at this trinomial, we have to find factors of negative 63 that add up to 2. So that would give us, well, 7 and a, or plus 9 and a negative 7. Now, what goes in the front? Well, if this is an x-fourth, that means this must be x-squared, and this first term must be an x-squared. So that is irreducible over the rationals. That mean, just means that your values here, your numbers, are rational values. Now, for b, um, we want to write as po products of linear factors and quadratic factors that are irreducible over the reals. What well, irreducible over the reals? Um, you can't, if you take the square root of nine, or if you solve x squared plus 9, what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting an i, an imaginary root. So you actually get plus or minus 3i when you take the square root of both sides. So that's not going to work out because that's not a real value. If you take the x squared minus 7, set that equal to 0, and you add 7 to both sides, well, you can actually find the square root of 7 is just a plus or minus radical 7. So if that is a real 0. So when we write our factorization, we need to go one more step. We can say f of x equals x squared plus 9. And then the x squared plus or minus 7 becomes x plus radical 7 x minus radical 7. Some of you are saying, what? Well, these are real numbers, and they can be real factors. This is just a difference of squares. Okay, Even though 7 is not a square, a perfect square, it is still a square if you take square root of 7 times square root of a negative 7, or a negative square root of 7. Now, if we want to completely factor this, that means that x squared plus 9 can factor. Well, we have dealt with zeros of imaginary imaginary roots before and when we wrote those as factors we could write them uh, we'd multiply them and you'd get an x squared plus 9 so what we're going to do here is we're going to split this up into an x minus 3i times x plus 3i and then we're going to have x plus radical 7 and x minus radical 7. So this is com in complete factored form where you end up with a, an imaginary part. Okay, that's your imaginary. And it's not a real part, so you can't, it can't be irreducible to the reals. But then you also have your real factors right here. So there's one of your favorite factoring problems ever. So with that, let's take you out with a little more Pitbull and no crap. Oh, it's Kilo. Never mind.